Hey yo, it's Brian here today. Gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers. As always, not doing a top three video. This time talking about the defensive line and players that I would like to keep for this position. Last year in 2018, they kept nine defensive linemen. This time around, I'm gonna be doing nine again, just to assume that they might do the same thing in 2019. They might do eight, maybe ten, but I think nine's a perfect number to go with. For this video, I'm gonna be picking nine defensive linemen to start. A couple of defensive ends, a couple of defensive tackles. You guys get the drill right here. I've done this for many positions now. I don't really need to explain myself, so I'm going to get to it right now. But before I do, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help you all a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share this channel. Share this video with fellow Niner faithfuls. I got a couple of brand new subscribers coming in from yesterday. So if you're watching this and returning subscribers that have been with me for years, welcome. Hopefully you guys do share my content as much as possible. I'd love to get to 2,000 subscribers by the start of football season. Thank you guys so much. Let's get this video started. Who should the 49ers keep for the defensive lineman position come 2019 53-man roster. Okay, time to talk about defensive linemen. This is the position where the 49ers did a lot of investments on during the offseason. As you all know, D4 was coming over to the team from a signing trade with the Chiefs. They gave up a second rounder in 2020 to get him. They also gave him a five-year, $87 million contract. That's a very big thing to do, although it's only like a one- or two-year deal, essentially. And then after that, they don't like him. If he's not performing well, then they can just cut him. So that's a very good incentivized deal for Ford and the 49ers. He's definitely going to be on this team. Nick Bosa, he got drafted number two overall by the 49ers. He still doesn't have a contract yet with the 49ers for a rookie deal. Still trying to work some offset language stuff, I'm assuming, going on. Some issues right there, but hopefully by training camp, he can be on this team and we can move forward to making this team great, especially on defense. Those two guys, they're definitely a lock to be on this team. I mean, when you draft somebody that high, number two overall, when you sign somebody that much money and giving up a second rounder, you're definitely going to be on the team. There's a lot of expectation for these two guys. I believe they will deliver for the 49ers. Two guys right there. Other two guys that are going to be on this team are Eric Armstead and Solomon Thomas. These two guys, they've been first round mixed reactions, I would say. They're more of a bust, to be honest with you. Hopefully this year they can do something good. Solomon Thomas, I'm still very high on for his whole career with the 49ers. The past couple of years, he's had some family stuff going on, some personal life tragedies, I would say. It is unfortunate that he had to deal with that. It is what it is. The 49ers, I have to blame them too because they've been trying to use him as the edge rusher and he's not really comfortable with the edge rusher position. But now they've been starting to realize that he could play really good on the inside and we have a lot of tape showing that Thomas is very effective on the inside more than an edge rusher. It took a couple of years, but hey, better late than never. Hopefully they do not make the mistake and put him as an edge rusher. Plus we got Ford and Bosa to be the guys for that. It is what it is. Thomas, I think he has something still good for the 49ers. I think he's going to offer something great, and I'm pretty sure he wants that fifth-year option for the 49ers next year, so he's definitely going to be showing up and showing out for this team on the inside. Salah, put him there. I think he won't disappoint you guys. Armstead, I've been pretty mixed on for the past couple years. Haven't been the biggest fan of his. I tried to be. I wanted to be supportive, but he's just been making it hard. Just bad play. A little bit of injuries. The 49ers, they gave him a fifth-year option for whatever reason. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of that, but John Lynch, he wanted to make the move. He wanted to make the move. You got to deal with who you have right now, especially for a fan that does not make any transaction moves for this team. Anyways, Armstead, I think he can try to do something great. I think he's more of a role player, and that's disappointing to say because when you get drafted in the first round, you're expected to be a starter and be very consistent. Armstead, for the past couple of years, he hasn't been living up to the billing. That's all he pretty much is, is just a role player for the 49ers. Maybe if he goes somewhere else within a year or two, he can be a great player, but just for the 49ers, it just hasn't been working out. Hopefully, he can do great in 2019. That's about five guys I have right now. D Ford, Nick Bosa, Solomon Thomas, Eric Armstead, DeForest Buckner. I mean, that's a pretty obvious given right there. He's one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL. He's an all-pro potential. He's already a pro bowler. I can't really say anything else about him. I talk about this guy pretty much often. I won't go any deeper about him. That's five guys right there. Sixth guy I'm going to be keeping is Contavious Street. He didn't play at all in 2018 due to a torn ACL during the offseason after his career at NC State. But he did get drafted by the 49ers, I think, in the fourth round of the 2018 draft, being off for the whole year. Hopefully, he could be a nice little role player for us. He has the potential to be a great player. We'll see what happens. He had a pretty good college career at NC State along with Bradley Chubb when they were together. That's six guys right there. Going to keep them. I got three positions left to fill up for the rest of the video. Hmm, who am I going to pick? I got options like Ronald Blair, Sheldon Day, Julian Taylor, DJ Jones. Those are pretty good players, role players that we can use to cement this whole 49er defensive line because this line has a lot of potential. If I had to pick three guys to pick out of nine guys total, I'm going to be picking Ronald Blair, Sheldon Day, and DJ Jones. I think those three guys, they are the 
people that I would love to keep for this whole 49er roster. We need some defensive tackles. Next to DeForest Buckner, I think guys like DJ Jones and Sheldon Day, they can definitely do that. Day has been pretty good for the 49ers for the last year or two now, so I'm definitely giving him an opportunity again. Ronald Blair, he's had some great moments as well. I think he had a pretty good career day against, I forgot what team, maybe the Texans or something like that a couple years ago. It's been a while. But yeah, those three guys, I'm definitely going to be keeping. Julian Taylor, I love to keep him, but it's just not enough roster spot to be honest with you. So you got to, unfortunately, cut him. There's some other players. There's some rookies, undrafted free agents that I'm pretty much not going to give him a chance. Cedric Thornton, I think he's coming from another team. He's probably not going to be on this team. So yeah, pretty much nine guys right there. I think that's a pretty good defensive lineman list that I would definitely keep for the 2019 season. I think these guys are going to be do a really good job. To go over the list, Nick Bosa, DeForest Buckner, D. Ford, Solomon Thomas, Contavious Street, Eric Armstead, DJ Jones, Sheldon Day, and Ronald Blair. Those are the nine guys that I would keep for this whole 49er defensive lineman rotation. It's really top heavy. We got some nice role players. Let's see what happens. I think the 49ers are going to do really good and they're going to get to the quarterback pretty often, not like last year. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys wanted to do a quick video talking about this. I think this is a pretty good squad coming up for the 49ers. I can't wait to see what they do and I'm pretty sure you guys are excited to see what they can do as a defensive lineman. Please let me know who you guys have for the defensive lineman. Who would you keep? Who would you cut? I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me a lot. I'll be catching you guys up tomorrow on a Saturday. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Go Niners all day.